everybody. Welcome, and I hope you're having a uh, good start to the month. We are now in the month of October, and it's time to do our spirit animal oracle and see which animal wants to connect with us this month and wants to um, guide us. And um, the animals that guided us last month were the rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. Remember that? Did you overcome obstacles? I did. <laughs> and uh, dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. And that it does. I've had a lot of uh, truths and a lot of awakenings this month. And well, since the last time I spoke to you, a lot of things have changed. And um, I've made it through <laughs> yet another time. And um, I'm doing good today. And I, I've um, come to the realization that um, in time I'm doing good, I go with the flow, I'm in the flow, I'm, you know, I'm connected, and um, today's a good day, so we're going to do the Animal Oracle. And this is the 10th month, you know, the 10s, completion, new beginnings, so um, be aware of uh, the things that you need to finish up, or... Um, the things that you're going to get ready to uh, start, what things have you um, manifested that are going to be coming through right now. Um, it's time of harvest and um, we have a powerful month here because um, we have two full moons, one at the beginning of the month, the first, we just we are in right now that that energy and it's the full moon in Aries and um, that's a fire sign it's a fiery uh, you know energy and um, they're they're strong with their their voice and they're not afraid they're fearless and very powerful and then we've got the end of the month on Halloween the 31st the full moon in Taurus and Taurus is an earth energy around it and connected to the earth and um, strong too so it's two very strong forces and um, embrace these and use these to your, your abilities these are this is a good month for manifesting and um, and then we've got a new moon right spot in the middle of the month on the 16th so it's directly right in the middle of both of them so there's a newness there oh, I'm trying to think what it is oh, the new moon is in wait new moon is in oh no no I think I messed up I think the full, first full moon is is Libra new moon might be Aries oh don't quote me on it now. Oh boy. Mess that up. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? I can make mistakes. I'll have to uh, check it out and put it in the description because now I can't recall. I think it's the new moon is in Aries. Okay, so Libra energy. Balance. Balance and, um, oh, the card's ready. <laughs> we don't want to shuffle in. Um, ba balance is Libra. So, um, you know, um, find that balance. And um, I've talked about this wheel that you can create, or a pie, um, your energies of your life. And um, to have different parts of your life balanced within that pie. So that might be some food for thought for someone to um, get animal spirit. Animal Kingdom, spirits of the animals, which would like to be our spirit guide for the month of October this year. And take take this as a timeless reading or message because 
you might come across this video at a different time and you'll be saying, well, it's not October, so, but that's okay because it's coming to you at the time that you need that guidance or that animal wants to come to you to guide you. So, you know, um, these are timeless. The energy is really heavy. Um, energized, I should say, not heavy. I feel good. You know, I'm getting ready to go up to visit um, my son. Oh, there we go. My son, um, they got a little puppy, and um, we're all going up as a family to visit and greet him and meet him. I've actually met him because I met him. I had I had the kids the day they went and got him, so so it's gonna be fun. So I'm going back up to my hometown and I'm gonna see my family. So I was like, oh, I better see if I have time to get this video out before I leave and. Um, you know, get this up for the month because it's already the second here. So, you know, these these are timeless and these energies are good for, you know, whenever you're drawn to the video or, or the video comes to you, okay? Okay, here's the animal spirit. Buffalo spirit. The abundant universe will provide. Oh, that's a nice one. It's an earth energy. Buffalo, the number 10 card. How appropriate on the 10th month. Synchronicities have been really, um, I don't know if you've been noticing, but they've been really um, coming in, you know, one right after the other. And um, September was, to me, was a really quick month. I had many things to do. I didn't really get all of them done, but I got done what I needed to do. And that's the mindset, you know, it's good to have. So here we go, Buffalo Spirit, a strong animal, powerful animal. Low to the ground, but strong and fierce. I always feel them charging, you know. I watch westerns. I love westerns. And, um, oh, I have my thing. Let's see if we can put it right here. I'm sure everything's going to work out divinely here. There we go. I noticed last time my video was actually lower than I think. And it, as I see it on here, I'm hoping you can see that good. Um, there, that's a little better. Yeah, I packed away the little thing I hook it on. Okay, number 10, did it say? Yeah, it was 10. Animal. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I like the buffalo. I like seeing them with the Indians and the, and the Westerns. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Buffalo spirit. The abundant universe will provide... Buffalo Spirit comes to you now to remind you of the amazing manifesting power of gratitude and the extraordinary potential available to you when you adopt a mindset of abundance. The ancient people of the Americas saw the buffalo as a symbol of abundance because the herds roamed far and wide and provided so many gifts. The meat, the hide, the bones. The tribes who hunted the buffalo used every bit of them, wasting nothing, appreciative of the abundance. So too do you have many gifts available to you. Buffalo spirit appears to you to let you know that you are in a powerful time to manifest your desires, not by force or pushing, but rather by following a natural path that rises up before you, trusting that there is always plenty to go around, whether it be love, money, inspiration, or support. It's all there for you to claim. When you are grateful, you immediately align yourself with the truth that the world is rich and teeming with resources. There is always more than enough, and you are always enough. Oh, I love that. You're always in more than enough. There is always more than enough. And you are always enough. Remember that. Remember that you're always enough, okay? No matter what anyone ever tells you or says to you, you're always enough. At this time, you can expect all your intentions and needs to come into a form that is right for you. Your heartfelt gratitude is making you a magnet for miracles. Buffalo Spirit's message is to remember that you co-create your reality in partnership with Spirit. 
So offer up your thanks and your prayers even before you see conditions you desire, not just for yourself, but for others too. Then you will quickly see the results in tangible ways. Gratitude has the magic to grow the good. So offer thanks and praise as you acknowledge all that you have and all that is possible. That is so true. That is so beautiful. It's so good to give thanks and be grateful that um, for everything that you are blessed with. And when you do say prayers, pray and include other people in it and others and animals and the Mother Earth and the kingdoms in it. And um, be appreciative of all these beautiful things that we've been blessed with. Protection message. I always like to read this, you know. Get a little extra insight. When Buffalo Spirit visits you with a message of protection, oh my mouth, <laughs> when Buffalo Spirit visits you with a message of protection, he is asking you to shift your thinking from poverty consciousness to one where you trust the universe will provide. And that's what I'm going through right now. And it's really, it's really an eye opener, you know. Because if you look at a I'm just going to throw this for instance in there. One of my uh, affirmations I listen to, I believe it's from Steve Noble. Um, he always says, a sunflower um, provides a thousand seeds, and a thousand seeds provide all those flowers. And we are one with the sunflower, so we are abundant like that. We do provide all these things, and we are... Uh, we grow like that and we expand like that and we receive that bounty that comes to us, you know Have you been falling into financial insecurity worrying that there will not be enough money in the future? Have you been stressing and feeling sorry for yourself worrying that because you have no romantic relationship now you will never have one? Do you see scarce, scarcity? Sorry <laughs> where there is in fact abundance are you comparing yourself to others and falling short self-pity entitlement fear and lack are all thought viruses are all thought viruses that seduce you into darkness and i'm going to add lower energies too lower vibrations Buffalo Spirit nudges you to make a gratitude list and be mindful of your thoughts at this time. Even if outer events have happened to challenge your beliefs in abundance, outer conditions are temporary. If you are suffering from the malice of fear that you are impoverished, realize it is only poverty of perception and perspective prayer communion with your higher power and gratitude coupled with compassionate selfless service will snap you right out of it give to someone who has less than you be thankful for the tiniest things and say affirmations then you will remember abundance is the true nature of the world wow powerful message just like the buffalo spirit just like the buffalo you know because um we have an abundance the ocean is abundant um everything that you can see around you is abundant you know the fields of grasses and grains and um you know and if you feel abundant and um, not not to compare it to others because um Everyone has their own um, path and their own journey. And um, maybe you are on this earth to be um, in this position of lack to show others that by keeping your mindset um, thankful and abundant in knowing the universe provides and you never will have lack you never will go without um you will bring others to that same um vision and they will also say hey if she can do that i can do that 
you know. Right now, I'm living at my daughter's house, like I've told you, and it's it's October. She wants me to move out, and uh, you know, I still haven't seen the opportunity of where I'm going, but I'm going to. I know it's there, and I know the universe will show me the door, and I will open that door gladly, and I'll be thankful. And and meanwhile, I'm. I'm grateful for having this roof over my head, and I'm thankful. And you know, I'm I'm not. You know, I have found myself in times I'm not gonna lie, um, where I've been sad and I've cried and I've lost and saying, "Wow, why can't I see what you're showing me?" You know. And it's hard, and I'm not gonna you know sugarcoat it. Things are hard, and right now um, I'm not working. And everyone keeps saying, well, get a job, get a job. And every time I go to start looking or I'm going to take that step, my back or something happens with my back and, I, you know, I have back problems. So, you know, I don't want to make it seem like, you know, it's working against me. But I, I just feel like I'm not supposed to be doing that. I have a higher calling and, um, and I'm... Um, Going with the flow, you know, and that's what you have to do sometimes. You have to um, take on this beautiful buffalo spirit. And I'm going to grab this gem right here because it sort of has something on there. It's looking like a buffalo to me right there. See it? <laughs> um, I think this is for the root chakra. Uh, I have all my stuff put away. I haven't been really keeping up with a couple things, and that could be one reason too. You know that um, you've that I've been falling into the, this spot where I am right now, and um, I'm holding my power and holding my strength and staying grounded and knowing that all will be shown to me in the time that I need it to. Um, but things are packed away over here. I believe it's. Well, underneath carmelian, it does have carmelian in it, but I think. Mm, let me look. Hold on. Oh, she'll be back. Where are you? I put things in certain spots so I would keep them with me as I'm packing. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Sorry about that. That's okay. It's real life. <laughs> okay. Red Jasper, that's what it's called. Oh, root it in strength. <laughs> Gotta love the universe, huh? Yeah, I don't like my hair behind my hair like that. Okay, root chakra. <laughs> root it in strength. It's at the base of your tailbone. Um, emotion, survival, primal instinct, primal life force. Fear less and love more. And um, it balances the yin and yang energies as well. The mineral content within your body stimulates sexuality and fertility. Assists in combating exhaustion. Which is great because, um, you know, when you get in those low vibrations, things start to happen to you that... My son is calling. 